Hi everyone, I am Susan Jacob and this was a patient uh, who had a scarred cornea and uh, we had taken him up for a DALC or a deep anterior lamella keratoplasty. He is a slightly more elderly person and uh, you can see that what I am doing is measuring the uh, graft diameter that I need to take. And once I have done this, I trefine the cornea with the desired diameter trefine and uh, then further deepen the cut by using a dissector or a crescent blade. And once I have deepened it adequately enough on all sides, which is about 80% of the depth, I am ready to inject the air. Now this is my usual standard technique and uh, you can see that next what I do is take a 26 gauge needle connected to a, a 1cc uh, syringe and as I am injecting you can see what has happened is if you look carefully air has entered into the antechamber but also more interestingly there is a second type of bubble that is formed uh, which is actually a type 2 bubble. You can see how it differs from the type 1 bubble is uh, that it is more eccentric and it is not started from the center and enlarged circumferentially as a type 1 always does. So this is a bubble that is formed between the Desmets membrane and the pre Desmets layer and this has probably happened because of the older age of the patient and the weaker additions between the Desmets and the pre Desmets layer. Now once I have seen that uh, a type 2 bubble has formed I did not want it to be enlarged further therefore what I did is I injected uh, small aliquots of air all around to get uh, tissue emphysema and then I have dissected off the superficial stroma. Now my aim here is to do a pre-decimetic DALC. The reason being that uh, as I saw the air bubbles enter the anterior chamber, what has obviously happened is that a type 2 bubble formed and then it burst through a small perforation in the Desmet membrane and air entered the anterior chamber. Now I do not want to try and enlarge that type 2 bubble further, neither do I want to aim for a type 1 bubble and therefore uh, risk the uh, the possible uh, expansion of the type 2 uh, by the pressure of air that's being injected. So I'm just going to do a pre decimetic uh, DALC and leave a thin layer of stroma over the type 2 bubble so that I do not end up with a punctured Desmets membrane. Now once I've done a deep enough dissection manually, uh, I am uh, fine to place the graft but of course there is a type 2 bubble that is over there which needs to be released and uh, if I leave that there uh, that would remain as a localized area of Desmets detachment. So you can see what I did was make a small nick over the residual anterior stroma and now I am milking out that uh, type 2 bubble uh, so that the air escapes from there and the Desmets layer comes back and lies against the thin layer of overlying pre decimetic tissue. Now once I've done that, it's time for me to suture the graft onto the recipient bed. Now what I did learn from this case and also from one other case where I had experienced a similar situation was that uh, type 2 bubbles can form even in DALC and they generally occur in older corneas probably because of the weaker adhesions between the Desmets membrane and overlying stroma. Thank you so much for watching.